So I finally finished the roof and I think it looks really good now. A nice uh, Chinese theater in LA. That's kind of what it looks like here. But we got- And where are we? <laughs> what? We're at the dentist for some cavities. Not mine, yours. All right, let's go buddy. Wow, look at that, big boy. And he gets TV, so, so after hot. expanding the Parisian restaurant, I've decided to do the same thing with the Palace Cinema. So we got this Palace Cinema at Philly Brickfast for winning the raffle on the last day. And I've just taken apart our current Palace Cinema. Now we have two base plates and I'm going to try to make it bigger, expand it similar to this. I'll have to figure out the design because this is a corner building and I don't want to do two corners together. So I'll try to figure out something. This is what I have so far. So I have a little indent here instead of the corner. We have the dual stairs going up to finish this side. And we have some concession stands on this side as well as the other side. So hopefully the second floor and third floor will mesh with this design. We'll see what happens. Good workout today. I did 13 kilometers in one hour. My calves and hamstrings were fine today. Felt okay. A little tight, but no pain. But um, it was good that I took that time off just to recover and it was a good workout today. I did some chest and biceps and then core. Now I'm going to head to the clinic for a bunch of patients. I'm done late tonight. All done the first floor now. So this is the inside. Cash register over here. We have like a snack bar. Put some stars on the wall. Another snack bar and another cash register over here. So I think the first floor turned out pretty well. Eventually, I'm going to tile up the floors, but right now, just leave it red. I don't have any red tiles at the moment. Home right now for my mom's. I picked up these boys. We had dinner there and watched a little bit of American Idol, which I just heard will be its last season. Yep, we've been watching American Idol since it started. Not too regularly, though, but it's always entertaining, right? Yeah. And uh, I'm going to go to the library right now, drop off a book that I read. Not in my list of books to read, but... Highly recommended by a friend called The Solitude of Prime Numbers. Catchy title, but disappointing plot. I don't know. I feel like I'm not. I wasn't angry enough uh, to be in the mood for this book. I don't know. I'm not teenagery angst enough. Although I feel like even as the characters grew into adulthood, I don't know why they were still acting like teenagers. Needless to say, I am not a fan, sadly. Again, it was highly recommended by a friend of mine now. She may have read it when she was younger and just had fond memories of when she was young and angsty. But, uh, yeah. Just finished it. building the second floor of the Palace Cinema. And I think it looks really good. However, it was a little tricky because I kept on running out of these pieces, these brown pieces here. And so I had to improvise a lot. But having Tristan is that he does all my bidding. Well, most of my bidding. Like, he is the best gopher when it comes to returning ladder bricks. Look at that speed. We had to work in it. I'm like, you have to get in and out of the car in under 30 seconds. And he does! Like, and so here's good. a look of the inside. So we have one movie theater over here. We have another movie theater over here. We have this glass with lights by the stairs, going up the stairs over here. We have windows and windows. And that's the inside. Like this book, I had to rush through it. Well, not rush through it. I actually had it for over two and a half weeks. It's due in a couple of days. And uh, it's a, a conventional book, AKA pages that needed to be flipped and you know potential paper cuts. But uh, yeah, I wasn't very thrilled with it, unfortunately. What else am I currently reading right now? I am currently reading, actually listening to the audiobook called Maine. And it's from the viewpoint of four female characters. The matriarch, the grandmother, her daughter, her daughter-in-law, and her granddaughter from her daughter. 
So very interesting. I've always wanted to read it, but I actually um, I'm enjoying this audiobook. I, I read it or I listen to it when I'm putting the boys to sleep. It's just I'm just plugged in. Half of the earplug is in. So it's a good way for me to get through a book. And uh, I think I am also on. Oh, I'm also started uh, the book about mortality by Atul Gawande, which is a, a great read right now. He's a surgeon in Boston area, and he talks about our lack of processes when we deal with our aging population or even the topics of death and dying. I know I'm a little uh, maybe somber that way. I, I do gravitate to nonfiction books like that. I am in healthcare, but I, I've, I've always been fascinated and um, engaged by any topics regarding uh, again, how we deal with our aging population and, and for, you know, the, the, the natural consequences of our lives, which is death and dying. So I finally finished the roof and I think it looks really good now. A nice uh, Chinese theater in LA. That's kind of what it looks like here. But we got the, the nice little features here on the side. This was the hard part to make, this um, angled piece here. And let me show you what I actually did. It's not actually attached. It can just come off like that. And we have little pieces on the side. So not really. I think that's an illegal building technique, but that's okay. But it blends really nice, this roof with the middle floor and the bottom floor. And it just looks huge. This is comparison to the Sig Fig Bridge. And this is massive, looking really good. We are to say I'm strangely excited by our New Jersey upcoming trip just because I can listen to more audiobooks. I just Googled it and it's about eight and a half hours away. We passed through Philadelphia um, and then we're staying around Atlantic City at a timeshare there. So we believe not this week or the week after, but the week after. So the final weekend of May. Oh my God, the weirdest thing is I woke up this morning, I'm like, what month is it? Is it April, is it May? It's May and it's the middle of May and I swear I write the date every single day and I thought that was all weird. If you enjoyed our family vlog and you wanna see more, click that like button and subscribe. Also leave a comment in the comment section. We love to hear your thoughts. And if you wanna see yesterday's vlog of me tiling up the Parisian restaurant Lego expanded version, my big version of it. The link is down below. See you guys next time.